Some fighters rely on skill and technique to win, others on brute strength. Some fighters, however, try to bend the rules in their favor, be it from an intentional groin strike or an eye poke to get that extra advantage. Most fouls in MMA are accidental, but these fighters do it on purpose. These are the dirtiest fighters in MMA. Gilbert Ivel. Gilbert Ivel has a long history of being a dirty fighter. One of his first offenses dates back to a fight in 1998 at the Pancration European Championship. Ivel knocked out his opponent, but was disqualified moments later when officials noticed bite marks on his opponent's chest. Oh no, those are teeth marks. Oh no. Well, they're certainly not hickeys, so. Ivel was disqualified yet again at Pride 16 for repeatedly eye gouging Don Fry and holding the ropes. Don Fry, the winner via disqualification. Don looks like a, a bump or two to the eye because that kind of swelling is not for punches. Yep. Why I almost get why they give me yellow cards? Okay, I get it. Everybody's here, I get it. Then in 2004, Ivo was disqualified for a third time for knocking out a referee during a fight. In 2000, he hit Dan Henderson with an illegal elbow while trying to defend a takedown. Ivel was denied a license to fight by the Nevada Athletic Commission in 2007, but eventually went on to fight in the UFC. Boom! Oh! Down Fuck goes shot! Ivel! It's, it's all over! Mike Kyle. At UFC 47, Mike Kyle bit Wes Sims on the chest. Wes Sims has bite marks on his chest where Mike Kyle bit him when he was in his guard. Sims was attempting to submit Kyle in the first round, but Kyle bit down on the left side of Sims' chest to force him to release the hold. Oh, he lost it, he lost it. Now, Wes Sims has a mark on his chest where it looks like you bit him. He's a dirty bastard anyways, come on. All the shit he's done. Then, two years later at WEC 20, Kyle illegally soccer kicked his opponent, Brian Olsen, in the head. Olsen was unconscious as Kyle kept punching him and the referees were forced to pull Kyle off. That was totally illegal. He was kicking a down fighter and he kept going. Kyle was disqualified from the title bout and shunned by the MMA community for his actions. During a fight in 2006, Kyle hit Christoph Szczynski in the groin multiple times. Szczynski hit with a low knee. Then followed up with an obvious poke to the eye. For a second. Oh. There's a punch. Uh, finger. Got a finger in the eye. He did. And here's the finger. You see the punch, the left come up just short. The fingers fly out. Christoph couldn't see after the poke, and the fight was declared a no contest. John Jones. There's one thing you know you'll see during a John Jones fight eye pokes. Hold on, he got poked, he got poked. Eye pokes have become a staple in Jones's fights over the years, from his fight with Shogun to his most recent fight with Cormier. Oh, the first eye poke, and that's what a lot of people were worried about. It's a technique he employs to keep fighters at a distance. He stretches his hand out, and if a fighter gets too close to him, they risk getting poked in the eye. Another move Jones has been criticized for are his oblique kicks. Jones throws these kicks at his opponents in hopes of dislocating their knee and potentially causing a career-ending injury. That knee, he's gonna ruin the guy's knee. If he's on the inside, he can hit the inside of that knee. He can ruin that guy's knee. But if someone's trying to give us brain damage, we believe that it's an even trade-off uh, to give them a little limp for the rest of their lives. So try it out, guys. Many fans and fighters complain about Jones's arsenal of unsportsmanlike moves. And his response? <laughs> Jones put his finger in his eye, the dirtiest fighter in MMA. <laughs> Jack Congo. Also known as Cup Check Congo, Check Congo is one of the biggest offenders when it comes to groin shots, and has even admitted to doing it on purpose. He need Krokop in the groin at least four times at UFC 75. He may be penalized here because John McCarthy warned him before. McCarthy warned him in between rounds. He also need Travis Brown and Mustafa Al Turk in the groin. Caught him low. Travis, stay here for me. One of his stay best techniques. Landed an illegal knee against Paul Buentello and had a point deducted for repeatedly grabbing the shorts of Travis Brown. He's holding the shorts again, look at that. That's incredible. Yeah. Honorable mentions.
Michael Bisping for illegal knees, eye pokes, and spitting at his opponent's cornerman. Real classy. <laughs> Husamar Palharis for holding his submissions for too long. Oh, 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 he didn't let go. And this guy. A lot of skill and technique, but as you can see, he's too hungry. He's throwing the strikes already. Matt Lindland for not bathing for weeks before a fight. Man, that was like fighting a smelly skunk. Matt, you need to take a shower sometime, partner. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe 